This is the Pioneer 2 or the American Diver submarine that was built right here in Mobile and it was built by the Confederates in uh, 1863. Let's go find it. Let's go find it. Hey, he said he got some. It does look like it could be. Oh my God, I think that is it. Is it pointed on that end? Yeah, it is pointed. I think we just found it. I think we just found the submarine. This is something buried here. Is it a shell? Conch shell? We can find anything. God bless you. Hope you find her, babe. It's been an amazing experience so far with Adventures of Purpose and many other friends that we have here. This is a knife. Definitely gonna get the license plate off and we're gonna notify the authorities. Nothing can hide from me so important that this movement continues to grow. And we really appreciate you being a part of it. In the depths of history. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Depths of History where we're looking for a submarine out in the out in the water out there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Sean, and she basically has invited us down here. We're in Mobile still. We're not searching for Randy today. We're actually switching our search, and we're gonna be searching for a submarine. This is the Pioneer 2, or the American Diver submarine, that was built right here in Mobile, and it was built by the Confederates in uh, 1863, a squall came up and it sunk the sub. Fortunately, the men who were to man the sub were on the towboat at the time that it went down, so wow. no lives were lost. Hopefully we can locate it today. If we do, this is gonna be a super historical, huge deal for the town. They're gonna be able to take it and remove it properly and make sure that all the historical significance remains with it. So it's really cool, you know, we're bringing depths of history into the water, you know, finding something like this. So way out there somewhere, there is a submarine. We're gonna to try to find it today. I'm just, I'm really hoping we find it today. If we find it today, that would be crazy. Have a well, I brought this um, nautical chart of uh, Mobile Bay, and we're going to be searching the lower part of Mobile Bay. Awesome. Awesome. So we're going to go get the boats ready. Again, we're with Chaos Divers as well, Jacob and Lindsay. We're going to go see what they're doing, and we're going to get a game plan to start our search today. We're going to do two boats in the water, because she said it's really calm over there. I was going to go in their boat, but I think if we do two boats, we'll have a better yeah, chance. Yeah, Let's go find it. Let's go find it. All right, so here we are. You can see there is a little bit of a current, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my motor out. Fill it up with gas. So yesterday we used a lot of gas. Um, we'll see how it goes. Now that we're over in this area, they're just checking the map. 
We're way up here. Okay, so we have to come up. Yeah. All right, we're figuring out now where we're going along this shoreline. There, there's a lot of places, but um, she knows where we're going, so. Yeah. About right there where you built that mark. It's gonna be exciting. Now, we'll dig here. Have it in gear, did he? <laughs> Watch the pilot. What was that? What? Watch for stuff in the water. Oh, yeah. Great, I love you. There's those pillars that they were talking about. Okay. So it starts getting really, really shallow, and that's where you want to go. All right, we are on the mark. Well, she's going to have to get into that seat so she can get into that okay. sonar. All right. So we can actually look. You can sit in the back seat here. Okay. All right, we're going we're going to we're going to check. We're going to look. All right, so Jacob said we're going to look all around here and scan. Anything they this, pushed out of the lower channel. They dumped it in here. They wow. So pretty much we're looking in a waste pile that could have been covered over. Wow, gotcha. We're basically trying to see if we can find any shipwreck parts because they dredged this entire area. But yeah, right now it's 1.8 feet. It's not really looking deep enough. We're scanning 60 feet to the left, as you can see all the way over there we're scanning, and we are also scanning 60 feet to the right over this way. It's a beautiful day though out here, and uh, couldn't ask for better weather. We also have down imaging with this live scope, but with the conditions right now it's really not worth doing a down scan. Hey, he said he got something, I think. Huh. What? That's it. That's it? Are you serious? Well, it looks like it could be. It looks like it. Yeah, it. it is pointed. Guys, oh my gosh, it's so I think we just found it. I think we just found the submarine. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill it. All right. Oh yeah, you can tell on the. Even the sonar reading on top of it, you can tell that that's exactly what that is. This is low tide, so this would have been above water and hidden. I'm gonna get my shoes on. It doesn't look like it's open right there. I guess it wouldn't be open. All right, I'm gonna check this thing out and just see what it what it looks like. Thanks a lot.
Okay. Ends into one, and uh, there's like a little bar at the end. There's some little notches on the side. I can see like there's something on the side here. Okay, so there's like a there's like a bar that's running through. The bar is running. Well, not not running through, but it's like. There's a probe. Use the probe and see if there's any more under the sand on the back end. Come on, you know. Here. Exactly. Probe it? Exactly. Yeah. Solid? Yeah. Solid to that point? Right here. Yeah, and I'm going to feel it. That's it. Is it? Yeah. Holy cow. It was already marked. That is incredible. Tell us what this means for you. I, uh, I just want to cry. <laughs> I'm so happy. I just can't thank y'all enough for getting me out here. And so you're, without... and you're for sure that the front of that is pointed. Is yeah. pointed? Yep. Well, don't scrape on it. I'm trying so, to see if it's iron. Right in the middle of the daggum, the whole like, thing. Yeah. Can you put your, your feet, feet in, there? in there? Is there an opening there? No. So it's solid. Which it probably would have been. So Pieces of it have broken off. This is a hole. This is definitely a hole. This is meant to hold. So, and from our guesstimate, we, you're, you're thinking it's. This is what, crazy. Possibly, <laughs> see, it probably Lindsay? Oh, yeah. That's sticking, and that's years, it's, years of barnacles. Yeah. So, okay. I'm excited, is what I have, dude. We just found the submarine. This is crazy. Where right? do we, so where do we go from here? Well, I will notify the state uh, okay. historical commission. Okay. And um, notify them that you know we all came out here this morning and believe that we have located the Pioneer 2 slash American Diver. Uh, from all indications, it's it? pointing uh, in that direction very heavily. I'm really excited about it. I'm going to give it a 50-50 chance right now. It's one of those hope for the best, but yeah. for the worst. <laughs> yeah, but um, it, it, it looks very promising, especially with the pointed nose, yeah. right. which is the one thing that's making me think, and the prop. So there's two indicators that it could possibly be yeah. what we've been looking for. Unfortunately, this is not the submarine that we were looking for. This is actually a channel marker and it is from the Civil War time period. It's actually made of the same material as the Pioneer 2 submarine would have been. The Navy came out to actually take a look at this item and they determined that it was definitely from the Civil War period. Unfortunately, I made a post on my Facebook page and it got a lot of attention, almost 5,000 likes. This in turn caused somebody who views my content to go out into the bay and they actually stole a prop that was in the middle of this channel marker. 30 years so I've been working on this. Half my life. We were in super high hopes that this was the submarine, but this is not going to make us stop our search. The fact that the Navy and the police came out to guard this item really shows how significant it really is. And the Alabama Historical Commission actually made a post on Facebook including its historical significance. You know, it's not usual that we start out the day, first day searching for something and we find it. But right? when it does happen, 
it's crazy. Like I, I had a feeling this is our last day in Mobile, Alabama, and I was talking to Jacob. You know, we've been searching for three other days, haven't had too much success in the water, haven't located any vehicles, but I feel like all of our luck was just preparing us for this. Yep. And I mean, what better day for luck? Right? Exactly. St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's day. day. This is St. Patrick's Day today. Sean, I appreciate you reaching out to both of us. Yes. And uh, thank you so much. Seriously. This has been uh, it's been beautiful. Yeah. Actually, oh, yeah. if you guys haven't been to Dolphin Island, you should go Seriously. and check them out. So th we're going to sit on this video probably for a couple of weeks until it's posted. But if you're seeing this now, you're going to know whether or not this is the real <laughs> deal. And I'm really, really hoping that that's the case. So it's been nice working with you. It we're has. Gonna... It's been great working with you guys. Be there sure to I... check out Chaos <laughs> Divers if you haven't already on YouTube. Thanks, he guys. posted a video the sa around the same time as I did about the same day. And he has his own view and his own search. And he's in his own boat. And our footage was a little bit shaky in our video. It might be a little bit smoother on theirs. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to press the thumbs up button, subscribe. And until we make another day in history, we'll see you guys on the next one.